Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, today I have for you a twofer, a two-way, a duo, a twinsy, another word that means two. Truthfully, I could not decide which pitcher I wanted to use today in this How to Pitch with installment. It was between Zach Greinke from the Ranked Program and Mike Messina, a king from Diamond Duos. So what I've decided to do for you all is mash them together. So that's right, in today's video, we will be doing one ranked game, hopefully just one. We're going to go a couple innings, maybe three-ish with Zach Greinke, and then another three or so with Mike Messina. We're going to split the game down the middle. I think three innings is going to be a perfect amount of time for you guys to learn how to use each of these pitchers. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe. My name is Kenny, and every Thursday, I teach you how to pitch with some of the best pitchers in Diamond Dynasty in MLB The Show 23. You don't see any swings. This is not about hitting. This is not traditional games gameplay, I show you every single pitch I throw so you guys can learn how to get outs. And I have a little treat for everybody in this video. This game will be on Legend. Yikes. Dearest Ramon, I come to you today humbled as a human and as a player of your video game. We will be doing this video on Legend. Please don't let my butt hurt. Okay, I'm back now. I had to stop by the Church of Ramon really quick, the Church of SDS, because uh, we're going to have to pray on Legend. And we're not going to pray for the pitching. The pitching will be fine. We're going to pray for my hitting, which again, you guys won't see. We are going to start the game with Gold Glove Zach Greinke. Why we got an awards Gold Glove of a pitcher? I don't effing know. But this card is insane. 118 hit per nine, 125 pitching clutch. His pitches are going to break like crazy. 114 BB per nine means he's going to put it wherever he wants. His 113 stamina doesn't matter, but 99 fielding is kind of cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. He throws a sinker. He throws a slider. He throws a circle change. Good pitches to have. The curveball, super slow. So it'll work if it doesn't hang. What I love about him here is look at his controls. His controls are nearly immaculate and his pitch breaks Really, really good. Really, really good. The sinker maybe could have a little bit more, but 87 ain't that bad. And then when it comes to Yankees legend Mike Messina, pictured here as a member of the Orioles, which is fine, he's gonna be a king. He's kind of like the right-handed Al Leiter. He'd, of course, be better with a changeup, but instead he has the cutter, which will kind of serve as something of a changeup. I know it's not directly the same. It moves differently, but we're going to use it in a similar circumstance. The sinker and the cutter are going to play nicely off each other. The slider is going to be an unexpectedly good out pitch, in my opinion. Where this card struggles, the hits per nine are low. Nothing we can really do about that. And he doesn't throw very hard. So if you have an opponent who's gearing up and ready to go, might get hit kind of hard. But like Granky, the controls are great. The controls are actually even better than Granky. And the brakes are also better than Granky. So overall, we've got two nasty pitchers going on the bump today. Let's go win a game. We are 97 and 27. Three games away from the century mark. We are rated 909. Oh joy. All right, Granky is cocked and locked, ready to go. Our opponent is also Zach Granky, and we're the away team. Please don't be shield. Laughing Mountain also sucks. It's more tolerable, but it also sucks. If you can believe it, I already lead 2-0 on a bunch of hits. No homers. Unbelievable. All right, so Zach Greinke. What I've learned facing him is that his slider's pretty good, so let's start with it. Bad pitch, bad location. Not a big deal. The sinker is going to have great control. Let's spot it outside. Perfect. I'd like to stay away from Andrew McCutcheon because I think he'll roll something over. But with two strikes, we might hit him inside a little bit. This guy's got a good eye. Um, you know what? I'm going to go inside now with this change up. Switch the location up. Three and one. This guy's eye is really good. We're just missing, by the way. Sinker outside. I don't want him to sit inside on three and one. There we go. Full count. Very late on it. All right, so let's bore it up and in. Be in the zone, please. Okay, he got a single. All right. Guy's going to be a tough out. He's a flawless player. We are both above 900 rating. You can tell by the gold trim around the, the scoreboard down there. This is going to be a hell game, but we're going to do our best. Circle change away. Maybe we get a grounder. Oh, we did get a grounder. It's not going to be two, though. We will get one out. That's huge. I'll take it. Notice how early he was on that, too. He was horny for for something. We're going to read that and we're going to throw it again. Okay, now he's late. All right, he's kind of all over the place. It's 0-1. Uh, nope. 
I gotta get used to Zach Greinke's delivery. I think that's what's throwing off my pinpoint, but we will get there. Four-seamer away. He was late on it. One ball, two strikes. Let's see how he likes this slow curve. Oh, I thought he went. I thought he offered at it, but I guess not. Let's get weird. Up and in slider. You could throw this with Cranky. Ah, I'm legend. I thought you can get away with it. All right, runners on the corners, one away. I told you it's going to be a hell game. It's going to be a hell game. Mike Messina is already loose and ready just in case. But I told you I'm going to try to pitch with Granky as much as possible. So I like this slider in with Granky, especially on Legend. It's going to be a fly out and probably a run scored unless we get the best relay of all time. Yeah. All right, hey, we let up a run. We're up two to one. Granky has not been great so far. We're also using this as an assessment. Is Granky worth it? Right now, too early to tell. Circle change away. Ball. I mean, this guy is, first of all, taking immaculate pitches. And second of all, Granky's kind of missing. I thought he'd be I thought he'd be dotting pitches up, and right now, not so much. Not so much. Go away to go in. Bellinger's got it. Nice play. Athletic. 99 fielding Zach Greinke comes into play there. All right. We let up a run. We let up two hits. This guy has, has a great eye. We'll learn from it, but I think we have to start attacking him inside more. I shied away from it after that McCutcheon single. I think I have to do it more. Well, it's back to reality. I hit three ground outs. And didn't get any traffic on the bases. That's what I expect on Legend. Just a lot of weak contact. Sinker below the zone. Haven't really done it much with Greinke, if at all. F wasn't even below the zone. Bad, uh, bad pinpoint there. Let's get back to it below the zone now. Okay, good take. It's a little concerning that this guy does not swing. I'd really like him to. He swung at that. I think Trout's going to be able to get there, though. That's a bomb to the warning track. And he's there. One away. A little loud. Not good, but I think he was just under that a tick, and that was the beauty of that changeup in a terrible spot, I might add. Sinker away. Let's get a called strike one. Absolute dot. Nice pitch. I want to go to the four-seamer low and away. I'm pretty sure he can't do anything with this. Missed the spot, but it is a strike. Ernie Banks up and in, man. Unless he completely sells out for this, I don't think he's getting it. A ball that sucks, man. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Circle change just below the zone. We're going up and into low and away, and he got it. It's a home run. We're tied at two. Ah, uh, Zach Greinke might not be good, guys. I was really hoping he would be. My opponent's good too, to be fair. Just late. That's a kind of a laughing mountain homer. Uh, I don't think Greinke's as deceptive as I would have hoped that he would be. Maybe you guys have a different opinion on him. Please let me know. What do you guys think? Am I sequencing with him wrong? Uh, but on Legend, I expected him to be pretty damn good. And so far, kind of shaky. Alright, 0-2. I would love if we could just spot this for a call strike 3. We didn't spot it, but it was a good enough spot to get a hard grounder. We have 2 away. It's tied at 2. 2 is a plenty. 2 is everywhere in the bottom of the second even. Alright, this guy's a Will Smith user, which means he's probably a demon. Because Will Smith's cards on Legend are excellent for some reason. But it's 0-1. Slider away for 0-2, please. No, just completely reads it out of the hand and spits on it, man. This guy is a tough, tough person to pitch to. Change up again. Love it. One ball, two. Can we chest, uh, chest. Can we test him, excuse me, up in the zone? 1-2. and two. Fastball. He's, be nice if he couldn't hit that, if I'm being honest. That's executed perfectly. Slider low and away. Not a, not a even, not a flinch. Up and in. Here we go. Please don't burn. Please don't turn and burn. Okay. We're going to have to get frisky with this front door slider here. What do we think? Good pitch, man. This guy is a tough out. A tough, tough out. Maybe it's not Granky's fault. Good pitch with the curveball. Sprinkle it in like Salt Bay. We're through two. It hasn't been beautiful, but we're alive. So my opponent's getting toxic. Not liking it. A lot of slide stepping. A lot of weird connection. Yeah, this connection has gone to shit, which I don't think is his fault, but the connection is awful right now. And I tried to friendly and it was denied. So we're going to do our best here and pray that we can finish this game or that, you know, mercifully something happens. But... We'll see what happens here. I would love if Granky can, like, pitch effectively. One on one and two, we need to get this leadoff out. It would mean the world. A shutdown inning. 
There we go. Strike three. Love that. Good pitch. Okay. A, a, a shutdown inning would mean a lot for Grinky right now. He's been pretty shaky. First pitch right down the middle, but oh my god, it's an out. Thank you. Two away. Nice quick inning. It'd be good, too. And then I do think we're going to pull him after three. Maybe we'll give him a fourth. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. As you guys can see, though, living away and up and into righties with Granky is going to be the key to success. To lefties, we're going to have to work that change up away, that sinker away. Get those rollovers. Occasionally a curveball for some fun stuff to happen. Okay, on one and one, let's go sinker inside now. Oh, here's that connection again. Just randomly being... And there's a double. Uh, the connection is doing some weird things. It's like randomly pausing and frames are skipping. And I, I, I thought the game was... It like froze last half inning while I was hitting. And I thought we were both going to get booted. But then it kicked it back up again. I don't know what's going on. Circle change. Good spot. Slider in. That kind of warped a little bit. And here we go with another... I don't know what's going on. Sinker. Bad. Bad pitch. Is it crossplay? Maybe crossplay is killing me? I don't know what's going on. But this has not been a fun game to play so far. Circle change in. And now he's R2-ing me. Nice pitch. Above the zone with a four seam. And if he doesn't swing at it, we go to the curveball. Okay. Here we go. This is the full count pitch. It might hurt a lot. Uh, and there we go. Pinpointed. Yep. Ball four. He, he R2'd me and pinpoint messed up and it lagged. Ay, ay, ay. Sinker in. And it warped to hit him. This connection is the worst thing I've ever seen. Get me out of this game. Can I friendly him again? I can't. I can't offer... I can't friendly again. Uh, I don't want to play this game anymore because of this connection. Slider in. Uh, God, circle change in. I feel like something bad's gonna happen no matter what I do here. One ball. I, I am not liking the situation. I'm not liking the connection. Foul? Oh my goodness. Please get out of the zone. Maybe he swings. Are you kidding me? That's how runs are gonna score? That's how runs are gonna score? A warped pitch, an R2 walk... Well, that Granky is not getting any favors from the uh, connection of this game. Here it goes again. Ball one. It's ironic that my opponent's name is Internet. Because I feel like he doesn't have any of it. And there we go. It's now 6-2. to two. Zach Granky has not been the move. This will likely be the last game I ever use Zach Granky. But I use him so you don't have to. I mean, that was a good pitch. That's also a good pitch. All right. Um, please don't hit this. That was a strike, but it was a ball. It's funny. Now the connection feels good. Here we go. The changeup's been consistently working. I wish my other stuff would work. Can we get the called strike three? Yes, uh, not a called, a swinging... Three innings of Zach Granke, six runs, six hits, some weird stuff. It was not as bad as that final line looks, but his day is done. Let's move on to Mike Messina and hopefully score some runs here. We're back in it, six to five. So let's see if Mikey Messina, can, Jesus Christ, can hold it down. I cannot believe we're doing it. Granke, guys, I don't know if he's for me. I don't know if he's for you. If he is, great. I just don't think he had the stuff. Cut her away with a great first pitch. In my opinion, that was a strike. But 1-0, we back it up with a sinker. Okay, hopefully Messina can be more effective. I am not sure if he will be. My opponent is good. The game is also a terrible connection. But now, oh Jesus Christ, it's 1-2. and two, And we don't have a changeup, which is sadness. He just R2'd on two strikes, but I bested him. Slider strike three. A great start by Mike Messina. My opponent is trying to be toxic. I don't appreciate it. Mike Messina doesn't give a shit either. Nice sinker. His sinker moves a ton. I am so comfortable using Mike Messina, so just for that reason alone, we might be better with him. But as you can see, five pitches, two outs. Mickey Mantle, we're gonna go cutter inside. I actually, there we go. Beautiful inning. 
I think that's what makes Messina actually better than Granky, even though Granky's attributes are better. The fact that Messina has a sinker and then a cutter. The cutter he can use against lefties gives him a weapon. Granky doesn't have that weapon against lefties. We did get a runner on because of an error, but a scoreless inning, still 6-5. to five. I'm going to need Messina to shove like he just shoved in that first inning. Try the slider away. See what he thinks of it. Ah, bad pin. Okay. Well, it was a terrible pitch, so I don't know how that happened. Knuckle curve. What do we think? A sharper break than Granky's curve. All right, it's fine. I'm okay with, myth with missing that. Excuse me. Marbles in my mouth. Cutter up and away. What do we think? Different spot for it. And it's a grounder. Hey, Messina has done exactly what I need him to do. He's come in. He's thrown just an exceptional four batters. He's getting weak contact. He even struck somebody out. I like it. Sinker up and away, but not slammable. Strike one. Remember what I said against left-handed batters, the cutter is going to be a weapon, especially inside. I'm hesitant to throw it low and away. I know that's where everybody likes to throw that pitch, but I think against this guy, it's going to get bunged. Okay, he chased that. I would have loved if he did not make contact with it. Let's see if we can rip off a peepee -pee tip. We can. He didn't swing and miss, but it was an ugly swing, and there's two away. All right, I, I think we found our opponent's kryptonite. Our opponent was... Pretty damn good against Granky. Less comfortable against Messina. Strike one. He was early on it, though. I'm really afraid of this cutter up and in, but it's a different look. He hit the hell out of it. Trout, A. Hey! Nope. That's okay. It's a double. Ooh, maybe a double. Do we get him there? Yeah, it's a double. I might have been able to throw through to second. Uh, he hit the crap out of that. At least it was not over the fence. Not a big deal. And now Devers, we have to get out. Strike one. Very early on it, too. Love that. Strike two. Back foot sliders for the boys. Uh-oh. I thought that hung. Bad pitch. Bad pitch. The cutter has been money. Let's do it again. Good take. Good take. And All right, and he's going to step out. Now we see. Now we see if he's learned, if he's watching, if he's preparing. Because this should get him looking. He hit the crap out of it. It missed its spot entirely. Good swing, I suppose. So now we're down eight to five. My opponent's very good. My opponent's very good. That missed its spot by... Is he really replaying that? Seriously? I'm not a fan of this very toxic opponent. Not a fan at all. We don't need to... Re I didn't replay any of the homers I hit against you. I've hit a couple already. That was, a. I mean, above the zone. That was a good pitch. Not where I wanted it, but still an effective pitch. We're back to work. Ernie Banks has killed me. He's two for two. Go in, go out. Go in, go out, go up, go down. Let's go slider here. He swung at that. One ball, two strikes. Sinker below the zone. He's going to think it's going to go up and in because that's what I've been doing. Now it's lower. Stares at it. Two ball, two. Two ball, I don't know what I want to throw. Knuckle curve, I suppose. Let's see. Guy does not swing. Cutter away. Weak contact for the boys would be great. There it is. J Ray. Oh, it's a yellow throw. I screwed up. Pick it. Thank you. Oh, Bellinger saves me. Not a good inning. My opponent is a giant toxic baby child. Good swing on that. He is beating me, but it's been a weird game. Okay, this should be the final inning of work for Mike Messina. Unless he, th I mean, he th throws a scoreless inning. I presume we can leave him out there. But my opponent's starting to just be on his pitches now. Kind of like with Zach Greinke, he was eventually just on everything. He's kind of, he's starting to pick him up. Uh, I also don't care for my opponent, and I don't want my good friend Mike Messina to get pummeled by him. So, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time out. Really going to help you there. On one and two, back foot slider. Hopefully we can execute it this time. Not really. Um, all right, we're going to see the cutter away. He cannot slam to it. Maybe it'll be a pop-up. Okay, he fouled it off. He fought. Good pitch, good spot. Now we're going to go same location, but moving the other direction. Fouled it off again. I executed perfectly. Up and in cutter. Be early, be jammed, be something. Be so in front of it. Oh, boy. Uh, sinker below the zone. Can we get a grounder, please? Hey, a strikeout. Look at, look at Mikey Moose. Love that. Love that. Will Smith has struck out twice. That's an odd thing I didn't expect to happen. And, oh, Mike Messina, he's got a diamond badge. Come on. <laughs> I mean, technically, that probably should have been a single up the middle anyway. 
But he just didn't react once it touched him. Okay, well, runner on first. Double play would be huge. Strike one. Double play would make me so happy. It's a good miss. That's a good spot for that uh, sinker. I like it there. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. This, this is going to hurt. Oh, we got the double play. If he stops taking his time, why did Mookie take his time? That was a tailor-made double play ball. <sighs> Two outs, runner on first. I'm slide-stepping because I saw McCutcheon take a lead. All right, at least that happened. That was smart. Look at me. I saw the lead. I slide-stepped through him out. We got out of it. Scoreless inning. Maybe we'll go one more with Messina. Didn't score. I'm really sick and tired of playing this person, so I'm actually very excited for this game to be almost over. Whether we win or lose, first pitch cutter for and out. Whether we win or lose, I'm excited for this game to be over. This has been the most toxic little person I've ever played in my entire life. It's been very frustrating. I'm not going to show you any of the hitting. Not because it's been bad, but because I don't want to show you all the numerous connection issues that happen suddenly when I'm uh, at the plate. And I don't want to show you all the slide steps and the weird pauses. And after every time I take a ball, he actually pauses the game for some reason. Very, very odd. So... I'm excited for this game to be finished. Two and one count. We can't get away from ourselves here, though. We have to throw strikes. We have to get outs. Four seamer. There we go. Haven't thrown a lot of those with Messina, but look, it worked. Messina largely has been pretty good. This is his fourth inning of work. He's let up, is it two runs? So, much better than Granky. Um, and it was a great swing that he hit out. And then he, I can't believe he replayed it. It's just incredibly toxic. I have not replayed a thing. I've done nothing toxic myself. That ball was crushed. Nine to five. If it, Watch, he replays this one, too. He's going to replay this one, too. It's nine to five. This game is based... Oh, he didn't replay it. I'm stunned. I have not been hitting well the last couple innings, so hopefully we can fix... The he hit the crap out of that with Story, but I think Acuna is there. Thank you, Christ. To the plate. YouTube, you won't believe it. I tied it at nine on a grand slam. He got super toxic. I hit a granny. I didn't replay it because I'm a man of character. So here we go. We're going to have to get outs. I'm nervous. Can Patrick Corbin do it? We'll see. He brought in Nikki Sticks. That is scary. Strike one. I need this sinker to miss. Otherwise, it's an opposite field homer. Very nice. That was a perfect spot. See if the 12-6 is tantalizing enough to get him to swing. It was not. It's a good waste pitch, though. I'm okay with it. Slider, I want to be close to the zone, but not in the zone. Got him. Oh, I don't know about that. Circle change. Can this be it, please? Bad pinpoint. Ah, Mickey kept it in front of him. I thought about diving, but if I dive, that's a triple. It would have been terrible. He perfect, perfect. It. Good swing. Uh, Patrick Corbin. I still don't know if I like Patrick Corbin. We're going to try to get used to him here. But man, he's been inconsistent for me. That is a long fly ball. I will more than happily take the out there. One away, and that's against the righty. Ernie Banks has killed me in this game. Can we get a double play from Soto, maybe? He's going to take him out. He's been bad with Soto in this game. Buck O'Neill. Okay, interesting. Don't see him a lot. Strike one. Below the zone circle change. Live there. It's a good, good miss. I'm happy with that miss. That's fine. Slider in again. Cody B. Oh, that was fair, huh? Can we get an... And he didn't cover. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know what happened there. We're going to Joel. Pineapple, man. Better matchup. Weird delivery. I don't know what happened on that. Nobody covered, instantly got an out. That makes me so excited. We're going to hose him at third if he goes, but he's smart, so he's not going to. Okay. Joel Pineapple Man is going to be clutch for us here with his weird delivery that he has. You can basically throw any pitch you want, and it looks like it moves 17 different directions. Well, that's off the plate. I want to go to the sinker outside now. It's one and one. This would be one hell of a comeback story, huh, you two? I don't want to keep missing. I'd like if he swung and hit something weakly. What a bad pitch that was. But now that he's thinking slider away, let's give it to him farther away. Good pitch! Let's go hit. It's 9-9. to nine. Chat, it's 10-9. to nine. Good, guys. We took the lead. I have Joel Pineapple Man scheduled to finish this game. I have Rob Nen ready just in case. 
So here we go. Strike one. What he's not getting is a sinker inside to a lefty swinging person. He has killed those in this game. And we got our first out on a grounder. Ellie De La Cruz did a weird, like, shuffle step. We got one away. Ken the Pineapple Man, take it home for me. In what has been a very annoying, very odd, very strange, and remarkable comeback thus far. As you can see with the pineapple, I'm going in and out. I'm going down in the zone. You have to change it up. You have to throw different stuff. Circle change, please miss. Oh, I thought he swung. I thought he swung. Please, for the love of God, don't hurt me. Okay, the last thing I want to do is walk somebody here. Circle change, come on. And I walked somebody. That was a weird pitch to throw on three and two. And it was a bad, bad spot. Below the zone sinker. Roll it. Oh my god. I can't believe he swung at that and didn't roll it over. Okay. I can't. I wanted to throw a four seamer above the zone. But I'm afraid he's going to somehow torch it. Nope, that's a ball. I, my hands are sweating right now. Everybody. Sweating. Did he just try to run with 60 speed? Right down the middle. He tied it. Ah! Tied at 10. A hell game. Cattell is, is killing me in this game. He's out at third, though, I think. Yeah, very out at third. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to go to extra innings, but here we go. Come on, pineapple. That was all... Not all, but... That walk with one out to Machado obviously comes back to hurt me. Because why wouldn't it, you know? Yep, that ball went out. You know? 2 and O. Oh. Two balls, one strike. Alright. I'm really locked in. I am sweating. I have to pee. It's been a long recording for me so far. Going on an hour already this game. Got him. Okay, to the 10th! The lead is 12-10. Ellie De La Cruz with his second homer of the game. I don't know what to do. Please, Rob Nen, can you be my hero, baby? Can you kiss away the pain? Enrique Iglesias. I need it from Robert Nen. I need it. And we immediately threw a splitter down the middle to Jock that missed entirely, and it's tied at 12 again. Oh my goodness. I mean, yes, it was a terrible pitch, but like, oh my god. I need this game to end. I, I can't play this opponent anymore. It's giving me stomach aches. I already don't really care to play ranked seasons a lot, and here we are. I did not think on Legend it would be 12 to 12. I can't hit this well. I don't think this guy can hit this well. This has been insane. Rob Nen, his first pitch is an absolute nookie dookie, and since then, he's throwing bullets. He's throwing incredible pitches. Didn't swing at that, of course. I'm sorry I'm not really walking you guys through what I'm doing as much as I usually am, but I'm now very stressed. I'm very stressed. Oh, that should have just ended the game. I'm kind of upset he didn't just hit that over the fence. Oh, boy. Here we go. Rob Nen, I've been told, is disgusting. I've yet to truly figure out how he's disgusting. But I'm open to learning. I'm open to becoming a demon with him. Okay, to the 11th. I did not score. So we're going to walk McCutcheon to make it first and second and pray to Christ we spin a double play. Otherwise, we're going to lose. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. All right, let's, let's stick with, let's stick with uh, our guy Robin in here. He's been very effective. Okay. I mean, he's been excellent, actually. Like, stunningly incredible. Other than that horrible pitch immediately out of the bullpen that he just decided to fling down the middle. You wanted to swing at that. Go ahead. Take your time out. We all know that changes everything. Got him. All right, one out. Oh my god, a double play would be huge. 
It's Gagne's turn because I can't pitch with somebody in the yellow right now. I just can't. Oh my goodness. This has been the longest how to pitch with video of all time. Oh, and we spun a double play. I can't believe this. To the 12th inning. The 12th. Bases loaded, didn't score. So here we go. Let's uh, immediately walk Cattell. I can't believe this game is still going on. This has just been uh, a nightmare wrapped in insanity, wrapped in another nightmare. Like, basically, we need to get a strikeout here. And it's gone. Thank goodness. The game is over. That was the most incredibly stupid game I've ever played. 15-12 to 12 final on Legend against an incredibly toxic opponent who suddenly stopped being toxic when I started scoring runs against him. But overall, don't use Zach Greinke. Probably don't use Mike Messina. And I'm just going to end it here because I'm exhausted and now frustrated. I love you all. If you made it to the end of this video, you're a champion of the world. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next week.